In today's video, we're going to be making the GOAT crosscut sled. It features a Craig precision track and stop system, micro jig dovetail grooves, as well as replaceable inserts, an extension fence that attaches to the sled so that I can make longer cuts. I've posted links to all the products that I used in this video in the description and I'm also posting my Instagram so that you guys can follow along in if you're interested. This sled was a lot of fun to build and I'm pretty happy with the results so let me show you how I did it. I decided to try out the match fit dovetail system in this sled and I actually enjoyed using it. It's really easy to set up. Um, if you have a nice uh, router table like this, all you have to do is just set it to the correct height and uh, just start making your grooves on your piece. I ran several grooves along different pieces of the sled and then it was ready to be glued up. Just wanted to pause real quick and explain that the base of the sled, as well as the left, right, and removable insert are all made out of half inch plywood. Um, and then they're gonna be assembled together using some glue. Okay, so before continuing the build, I just wanted to go over where I'm at right now and show you kind of what the rest of the sled's gonna look like. So I'm using nothing but half inch plywood. This is gonna be the base. It's basically, basically gonna be layered up. So I have the base, and then I have my right side, which already has the grooves cut in it. And this is going to be my replaceable insert here that I can always swap out. It's a four inch insert. And then I have my, my left side. So I'm going to glue this all together. These two pieces, this one's going to be removed once it's, these two are gluing so that it doesn't all glue together. And then once these are glued in together, then I'll add the miter slots at the bottom and we'll go from there. So I'm going to, I am going to use a little bit of Starbond CA glue to kind of speed things up a little bit to get this glue going. I just put a few dots everywhere and, and then I'll use the accelerator just to throw it on there. Need this to glue up quickly. Alright, the next step is to attach these miter bars to the crosscut sled. And what I'm going to do is put a few washers to make sure that it the bar, once it's set in the slot, it, it's uh, sitting above the table saw. So I'll put these two in. And then I'm gonna put a dab of CA glue, a few dabs um, along the miter bar. And I already have my depth, or sorry, my distance set away from the blade at 10 and three quarters. So I'll put the glue on there, gently lay this thing down that put some uh, weight on here and let it rest for about 30 seconds to make sure that it it cures and then uh, we'll be ready to go all right so as you can see here I put these clamps on here I knew they were pretty heavy I put them on each side of the of the table saw just to put pressure on that miter bar and after about uh, few minutes it should be cured I'm gonna take them off I'll flip it over and then I'll screw in um, in the slots on the miter bar and it'll attach it to the to the crosscut slide person uh, permanently so it'll be ready to go so I'm gonna use a self-centering bit to drill uh, some pilot holes in the miter I mean in the uh, crosscut sled and then I'm gonna secure the miter bars to the sled with some screws and then I'm gonna flip it over and start attaching my fences and this thing is pretty much almost ready to go Now that the miter bars are attached, I can flip it over, set it back in place. And we can start attaching the fence. I decided to take my track saw and make a few cuts to remove some of the bulk of the sled.
Now that I cut off the excess on the sled, I'm gonna glue this fence. This is the back fence to it. I'm not really worried about alignment. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it. I'm gonna put some of this uh, Starbond glue and some accelerator and also some wood glue to make sure it holds. And then I'll just put a clamp on it and then I'll screw in some screws from the bottom. With the front fence attached, the base of the sled is done and we can move on to the actual fence. For my fence, I'm gonna be using this Craig uh, track and stop system. I use it on my uh, miter saw station and a few other projects, so I've had good results. Um, it works really well, so I'm gonna use it. Uh, basically, there's two parts of the fence that I glue together to make it nice and sturdy. And then I use this call here to make sure it's flat. So I'm gonna glue it up and use this call here to, to make sure it's nice and flat against the, for the fence. And then once it's, it's dried up, I'll throw this on here. And that can be the first section of the fence. The other section is gonna be extension, but they're gonna be basically the same, the same style. And then uh, I'm gonna be doing some dominoes in here to help uh, line them up. But I'll be showing you guys uh, that later. All right, so I almost forgot that I needed to make a replaceable insert for the fence as well. So I'm just gonna take a square and mark off where the fence needs to be replaceable. It doesn't have to be a sharp line, it can just be whatever. All right, I'm gonna take the fence. Take these off. Take it to my miter saw and cut this out. Before uh, making my cuts, you gotta have an auxiliary fence to push it away, to push the uh, work piece away from the fence so that it makes full, fully uh, cuts, makes the cuts all the way through. Um, I just put two pieces of plywood together and then you screw them in the back. It's gonna hold in place. And then I'm gonna set my depth and make my, make my cuts. One of the best features of this Delta Cruiser is this little depth adjustment uh, ability. So I already set my depth uh, with this screw and then I tighten it up with this uh, wing nut. And as soon as I, as I uh, make my cut <clears throat> and I start cutting, it's gonna stop at the depth that it needs to be. So. Right there, it stops. It doesn't allow it to go any further. And now that I know that it's right here at this, um, that the cut's gonna end right here, I can kind of check with my piece to make sure that it's gonna cut right on that three quarter inch line. So I'll make a test cut and make sure that it works. All right, it looks like I'm just a little bit off, but I think that's pretty much close enough. I can, uh, chisel that out just to make sure I don't go too far. So now I can go on both of my sides and uh, dig this out and it'll be ready. All right, so I'll clean this out. Just test the fit. Perfect. We're back here on the crosscut sled. Put the fence back on, and I'm gonna clamp these down and attach the track. In this video, I'm actually not gonna cover uh, in detail how I attach the tracks or anything like that because I do have a video on that when I did my miter saw station. So I'll include a link down below so you guys can check that out. Um, but it, this uh, system works really well and it's really easy to use, so you guys can check that out. All right, so while well, I still have my router bit set at the correct height, I decided to go ahead and add a, uh, a one of these dovetail tracks um, to the fence so that I can clamp things to the front if I ever need to.
I decided to remove the top track so that I can add some dominoes on both sides of the fence to help with alignment. So I'm gonna add one on the bottom and I think I'm gonna add one up here on the top. So I'm gonna try that out on both sides and using my domino and these thicker uh, tenons, I think it's gonna help with alignment. Okay, so I've attached both uh, fences back on and the alignment works pretty well. Um, I can already see that it's gonna, it's gonna be perfect up here on the top. Now, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clamp this down to this flat surface and I'm gonna use this extra miter bar that I have and put it about there and I'm gonna screw in on this side of the fence, which is the extension. And on this side, what I'm gonna do is put in some threaded inserts so that I can uh, attach it whenever it's ready to be attached. So I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but I'm giving it a shot. All right, so now I'm gonna attach it to the actual fence uh, using a self-centering bit to get me the pilot hole, and then I'll use that to make my other, uh, the hole for the, um, for the threaded insert so that I can use these knobs. Let's just see if this works. So there's my extension being added. Looks good. Looks like it worked pretty well. So it looks like uh, the fence is complete. I was able to attach the extension fence and the last step is to um, attach the replaceable insert on the fence. I just used some screws with the countersink bit and uh, drove those in. And then I also decided to add a quick uh, chamfer to the fence so that it would help with dust collection. Now that the sled is pretty much ready, the fence is ready, I can turn on the saw, start bringing up the blade and once I have my line here, I'll have a reference point so that I can set my fence. I made sure that I didn't make the cut all the way through so that I have a reference point when I attach my fence and I can square it off of that. Okay, so I'm about to say something kind of controversial, but uh, I've seen other people uh, say this and they have the same idea. Um, I used to use the five cut method when I was squaring up my saws or my, my crosscut sleds. And to be honest, I found just the same amount of result um, by just taking an old beat up square like this, just making sure it's square and using it to pivot your fence up against the blade, getting it square, making minor adjustments. You're gonna put a screw in on one side of the fence and use this as your pivot. And then once you know it's square, you come in, you can clamp it down put screws in along the along the fence and you're gonna get pretty much the same or if I mean you're gonna get the same result as if you went and took the time and to do the five cut method. I've done both and I've found the same result. So whatever works for you as long as it's square, what does it matter? The sled is complete and I can go ahead and make my first cut. So I just take some scrap piece of wood, clamp it down and make my first cut. Um, you'll see right here cuts right through it. And then I'm gonna take my square and test it against uh, the flat edge.
I think the adjustable stop block, the extension fence, you know, all the inserts and all the features that I included into this sled uh, make it perfect for me. And that's why it's my goat sled. If you guys think so too, I can maybe make some plans in the future. So just let me know. I'm pretty happy with how the goat crosscut sled came out. Um, and I also wanted to thank Craig for sending me the track and stop system and also micro jig for sending me their dovetail track uh, router bit and some clamps to test out. So I'll be posting more videos on my Instagram. If you guys want to follow along, you can add me on there or you can also subscribe here uh, as I post more more content.